Thank you. Father, we give you all the praise. We exalt you. Thank you for you, our God. Thank you, our Adonai. Thank you. Thank you. For the ancient of days, Lord, we celebrate you. Lord, we honor you. You alone deserve all the glory. You alone deserve all the praise. Thank you for your good God. Unto you shall all praise come. Thank you, our Father. Thank you. Thank you. Say, Father, I thank you for your God that restores. This evening, as I hear your word and as I pray, I believe you for full restoration. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Alabaster. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hallelujah. If you don't mind, let's all be in the middle. Glory to Jesus. Thank you. Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15 tells a story about restoration. Luke chapter 15 tells a story. In fact, three stories about restoration. There are three stories. The first story is the story of the lost uh, sheep. It said, by this time, a certain, by this time, I'm reading the message translation. It said, by this time, a lot of men and women doubtful reput- of doubtful reputation were hanging around Jesus listening intently. And the Pharisees and um, the religious scholars were not pleased. Not at all pleased. <laughs> they grow at him and they say, ah, he takes uh, in sinners and eats meal with them, uh, treating them like old friends. Uh, their grumbling triggered this story. Their grumbling triggered this story. I believe that very soon now, you are going to be having so many you know, strangers that your neighbor will ask, why are you aligning this person to your missionary community? That is the purpose. That you are carrying people that don't look like church people. And they hang around you after a while. They start behaving like Jesus. Are you seeing the purpose now? He said, Jesus, Jesus. Some of us are Christians. We are so Christianized that all your friends and all your contacts, everybody is born again. In fact, after a while, you will begin to compete on whose tongue is thicker. You know, and, and, and it's difficult to share revelation. Because once you share one revelation, the person will give you 17 other revelations. You see that? So Bible says, Bible says Jesus, once in a while, he will leave the normal Christians and go and look for unbelievers. Help me tap your neighbor. Say, this year, as you look for unbelievers, God will use you to change many people's life. One more time. Say, this year, God will use you to restore other people. So as we are believing God for restoration, we need to know that we too, we need to restore other people. So Jesus showed that example. He said, suppose one of you had 100 sheep and lost one. Wouldn't you leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after the lost one until you found him? And when you found him, you shall be sure to put him across your shoulder rejoicing. When you get home, you call your friends and your neighbors saying, celebrate with me. I have found my lost sheep. He said, count count on it. There is more joy in heaven over one sinner who got rescued back to life than 99 good people who need no rescue. He told a second story. He said, oh, imagine a woman who has, been, who has 10 coins and loses one. Wouldn't, you, wouldn't she light a lamp and, and scour the house looking in every nook and cranny until she finds it? And when she finds it, you'll be sure that her friends and neighbors will come and celebrate with me. She will call them. I found my lost con. Count it. Count on it. That, that's the kind of party God's angels throw every time one lost soul turns to God. The next story, the third, the third story is, and the last one, is the story of the prodigal son. We know the story well enough. 
So this man has two sons. One came and said, divide my inheritance. He gave him. After a while, he lost everything. And then he came back to his senses. He said, Father, I want to come back. And when the father came, he restored him back. Now, in all these three stories, one of the things that's wrong parallel, and I want you to see, is that three of them talked about losing something and God helping them to get it back. It's very interesting to note that the first person lost something, you know, you could consider to be, you know, a sheep. And Bible says, God helped this person to get back the sheep. And that person lost a coin, and that person got by the coin. The other person, one of the sons just went away, and that one son later came back because of God's help in bringing things back. Help me say, God will restore me every opportunity I have lost. Don't forget this is also a prayer meeting. So I'm going to be short in my teaching and we're going to pray. That every opportunity that you have lost, you restore. Now, why is this so powerful? If you look at the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter, chapter 3, I think verse 14. Chapter 3, verse 14, the King James Version, Ecclesiastes. You see a very powerful scripture there. Chapter 3, verse 14, Ecclesiastes. Look at what the Bible says. And it says this very clearly and very powerfully. Chapter 3 and verse 14. It says... Thank you. If I can have the, the, um, thank you. Okay, I know that everything God does will last how? Follow me carefully. Everything God does lasts for how long? You can't add anything to it or take anything away from it. One thing God does is to make sure, to make us stand in awe of him. So God is a God that ensures that anything God has given to you and I, this is the basis why we are going to pray for restoration. That anything God does, if God gives you a job, if God gives you a husband, God gives you a wife, God gives you an opportunity, God gives you something, and it seems as though you have lost it. You have to use this scripture to come against those losses because whatever God does is supposed to last forever. Are you seeing it now? Whatever God does is supposed to last for how long? forever. And because that thing is supposed to last forever, it's now for you to question. If this thing is not lasting forever, then something is missing somewhere. I have to do something different. Please lift your hand over the head and say in the name of Jesus. Can I hear say in the name of Jesus? Everything I have lost, I am restored. Everything I have lost, every opportunity I have missed in the previous years, I am getting them back. Do you believe that? Then shout a living amen. amen. Joel chapter 2, popular scripture from verse 24. He says, and the floor, the King James Version. It says, and the floors shall be full of width. And the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. And the cat and the uh, Canker worm and the caterpillars and the palmer worms, my great army which I sent among you. So Bible is saying that he's interested and his God is capable of restoring years. Not just days, not just opportunity, few of them. He can literally restore years. Hi, Jesus. Do you believe God can restore years? God has restored many people. Let me give you an example of God restoring years. And they're going to get ready to pray. In 2 Kings chapter 8, you see God restoring years. 2 Kings chapter 8, you see God restoring years. Look at this. Bible says from verse 1, he said, Then spake Elisha unto the woman whose son has been restored to life, saying, Arise, go. Arise, go thou and thy household. Now, first of all, this woman is a bundle of restoration. First, her child died. Her child got restored. Now, look at what happened to her again. And Elisha told her, Arise, go thou and thy household and sojourn wherever thou canst sojourn. For God is about to bring famine to this ground for seven years. And the woman arose and did after the sayings of the man of God. And she went with her household and sojourn in the land of Philippine for seven years. And it came to pass that the seven years ended, that the woman returned out of the land of the Philistines, and she went forth to cry unto the king and say, King, for his house, for her house and her land. And the king talked to Gehazi and the servant of the man of God and said, Tell me, I pray thee, all the great things that thou, that, that Elisha had done. 
It's interesting for me here, Seth. Gehazi is already a story of restoration. If you're a Bible student, you know in chapter 5, Gehazi did something that was not good, and he got leprosy. I don't know if you're catching where I'm going to. Gehazi got leprosy by reason of collecting from Naaman what he should not have collected. And once you have leprosy, you are not supposed to be among human beings. You live at kid. Ask, they ostracize you, they take you out of town. But guess what? The first day I saw this, I said, I went back. I said, ah, does this story happen before a uh, Naaman or after Naaman? And I realized that God, I don't know what Gehazi did, the Bible didn't tell us, but God restored Gehazi. I said, God restored Gehazi. Gehazi was restored to the point that Gehazi became someone that is talking to the king. You know, he was at the king's, king's presence. We're going to pray, and I want you to see that no matter, you know, leprosy is a very powerful something. No matter what has happened, disfigured you, God can restore. This guy was disfigured. This guy was torn, battered. His fingers were caught. His, but God restored him back. If God can restore Gehazi, God can restore me. And so God restored Gehazi, and Gehazi was now the reporter. He was telling the king, and the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, said, tell me, I pray thee all the great things that Elisha has done. And Bible said, and it came to pass, as he was telling the king how he had restored a dead baby to life, which is this woman's child, that the woman, behold, the woman arrived at the right time, whose son had been restored back to life. And cried to the king and said for her land. And God said, ah, my lord, O king, this is the woman. And this is her son that we're talking about. This is the proof. This is the evidence. I don't need to explain so much. This is the evidence. Elisha had restored back to life. And the king asked the woman. And she told him. So the king appointed up unto her a certain officer saying, Restore all that was hers. Restore all that was hers. Restore all that was hers. And all the fruits of the field since the day she left. Until today until now kai isn't that shocking for you the woman did not even farm but the king said restore if she did not farm he said every crop that she would have gotten if she has farmed for seven years calculate it and give it to her her property were not inhabited he said that land that were not inhabited calculate how much she would have collected rent calculate and give to this woman because I am a God of restoration please if you don't mind we're about to pray rise to your feet and say father Oh, the way you are saying it is coming up. But I want you to say, say, Father. Can I have the keyboard on the keyboard? Say, Father. I want you to know that Thursday services we teach more and then we pray. Because we must see God of more in our lives. Say, Father, I believe you are the God that restores opportunities. I stand in the place of prayer and I pray, oh God, every opportunity that you gave me in the past and I lost them. Father, restore, restore. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. He said, I will restore to you yes i will restore yes that the canker worms and the palmer worm please put on the screen for me Joel chapter chapter 2 verse 25 he said i will restore everything i will restore come to god without prayer heart come to god without expectation come to god without expectation come to god without expectation come to god he said, i will restore you the yes the locust has eaten that canker worms and the, and the caterpillars and all the palmer worms, uh, the great army which I sent among you. Uh, can I have another translation of this Bible passage? Uh, Lord, you are restoring me. In the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, restoration. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I will make up for the years that locusts uh, and the great locusts of the 
devastation, locust savage, locust deadly, fierce locust, locust of all types, locust of doom, that great locust invention that I sent your way. Oh my God. Lord, I come with a heart of faith and I'm saying, oh God, if there is anybody you can restore, let it be me. I have come, oh God. You restore grace. You restore anointing. You restore power. You restore grace. You restore anointing. You restore power. All types of locusts that have taken things away from us. We are being restored. We are being restored. All kinds. He said, and I will restore to you the Yes, that the locust has eaten. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and declare, Father, every locust that have eaten, everything that belongs to me, anything that belongs to me, let them vomit it right now. Open your mouth and pray. The locusts are vomiting your opportunities. Please, we are praying. Forget about your neighbor. Forget about your troubles. And just stay with God in some few moments. You are saying, oh God, everything that the locusts, everything that the locusts, everything that the locusts, hey, Everything that the locusts, everything that the locusts, Halikatosha Dada, O Copali Palati Teta, Razoton de Lege de Gedebata, O Cote. They are Ando satea, o copali de desha, a rabate tea, a zosetesha, antelegedegedesh, rapapapata, o cote shimbelegedeha, el la papates, entaleco shibebea, o cote ziketesha, a rapapali ketedeha, o rapali manana catata, a solo cotenge de deha. Are you ready to pray, child of God? Andeli paradasa. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22 he said but this is a people the King James Version this is a people who are robbed and spoiled they are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses they are all for a prey and none deliver it why? they are for a ploy why? Because no one said restore. He said your family did not get restored because nobody stood in the gap to say, Lord, restore. You are anointing. You watch it slip away. The gift of the spirit went away because it does say, Lord, restore me. And he said because no one said restore. But let me ask you a question. Is there anyone in the house that want to say restore? Lift your hand and say, Father. Oh my God. Say, Father. As I declare, I see it come to pass. Now declare every area of interest for your family, for your family, for your family, for your business. Every area of interest. Every area of interest.
every area of interest in the mighty name of Jesus. Every area of interest, every area of interest. Sikaya, Ola Patates, Enta Kapaliga de Gedebasha, O Rabale de de Katata, O Kotike Papata Tedishka, Aske Papali de de Saha, O Rabbe de Keteti de Kidaha, O Kotega Zina, A Rapale Ketita, Endo Sipa Papateta, O Shari Patea, Akades, I will not be spoiled. Aya Tetea, O Rabbe Labata, A Siketeta, He said they are like prison houses, they are locked up in prison houses, and none of them got prayer and delivered because nobody said restore. We say in the name of Jesus, restore your grace in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Can I ask you to pray some kingdom prayer? Some kingdom advancement prayer. You are going to say, Father, restore the passion for souls. Restore. Oh, in Luke chapter 15, we read it. All the three stories was about soul be restored. You are going to say, Lord, restore my passion for souls. Restore my passion so I can intentionally invite people to church. Nobody should beg me to share flyers. Nobody can beg me to invite because I know the best benefit of serving God. Somebody pray and say, Father, restore the passion for soul in my heart. Now open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and declare it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Rate keshi papa. Rande katoze pepelikata. Raze ligande koshiata. Enta pale gedes. Rapapale keteteta. Rakatele ketetetile de de ya. Rapa Aliketeta, alla prade kosotea, o kopate jada, a rude keteti de sata, a kate zitea, o kode shada, a papale de de keta, entalika do sata, a likatonde de 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 a rapali beridesa, o kode shada, a tatali gatata, o lupe lepe leti de deha, a rikatonde legedesa, a sapada data, o kode shibata da. Radine Manakote, O Shaprataya, Lord, between now and Sunday, I want to, oh God, reach somebody for you and bring him or her to church. Alita, my missionary community, we are sold out for souls. Lord, even though we are starting this week, this Saturday, our missionary community, we are organizing, oh God, Lord, to reach out for souls. Restore for the body of Christ. Restore at the wisdom place. Restore. Restore, Lord. Rabate ketele de 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 kata. O shatade in talabata. O sapapata. O kote in de le desa. O suapapapata. O kote ze didanta. O kapali de de baziananata. O kote te te libata. Enteligasha, O Rupete Kete Ligasha, O Rapale Gede de Kita, Atekite Soa, O Shapratata, E Kote Jinaga, E Lipapale de Sa, O Kote La Bababa, A Ripate Teketa, O Shambra de Sa, O Kote Yakatata, O Kopapapali de Dega, A Satide de Deketa, Lord, I am a soul winner in the name of Jesus. When you are so, you make heaven happy. And when you cause a party in heaven, God will cause a party in your life. Help me say that to five people. When you make a party in heaven, heaven will make a party in your life. There are so many people that were restored in the Bible. Let me give you some few examples. Bible says Joseph, despite being sold into slavery by his brothers and later imprisoned unjustly, Joseph eventually rose to power in Egypt. Reconcile his family. Restoring his opportunity for a meaningful relationship with them. From chapter 37, 38, 39, 30 to 50 is all about Joseph. 
how God restored Joseph's dream. Is there any dream you have had and it's as though that dream can never come to pass? God can restore the dream and restore the grace for you to pursue that dream to come to pass. I say God can restore your dream and restore, restore, restore the capacity for you to pursue that dream to come to pass. I want you to have that at the back of your say, Father. Oh, I yes, say, Father, I believe like Joseph, you are restoring my opportunity to see my dreams come to pass. I decree, I will dream again. And I receive grace to pursue my dream. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I will dream again. I, I will dream again. I'm not giving up on my dream. I will dream again. I will dream again. Every dream I have had, the dream of global impact, the dream, oh God, of impacting generation. I will dream it again because I believe you store the grace to cause it to come to pass. I believe you restore the grace to cause it to come to pass. I believe you restore the grace to cause it to come to pass. I believe you restore the grace to cause it to come to pass. I believe you restore the grace to cause it to come to pass. Eleko shabata rapate leko. You restored Joseph's dream and to the point that Joseph was able to feed his family. Joseph was able to take care of a family. Joseph was able to become a person of value again. Oh my God. My dreams, they are coming to pass. The dreams I have they are coming to pass the dreams I had they are coming to pass the dreams I had they are coming to pass the dreams I had they are coming to pass the dreams I have they are coming to pass in the name of Jesus every opportunity I had to bring the dream to future and bring it to pass and I lost it Lord you are restoring In Jesus' mighty name. Job chapter 42, verses 10 to 17. You see that Job experienced immense suffering. He lost, including the loss of his wealth, his health, his family. But God is a God of restoration. Through the persistence faith that he had in God, God restored Job's fortune and eventually gave him twofold. Look at it, verse 10. It says, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job <laughs> oh my God. And God turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he has before. Please look for a friend. You are going to pray for that, your friend. And say, God, as I hold the hand, just hold one person. As I hold the hand of my brother, my sister. Lord, I pray that you restore him. Lord, restore him twice. Everything that Pastor Chima has lost. Lord, you are restoring him twice. Somebody hold the hand of somebody. Pray. You are restoring twice. You are restored twice. And Job pray for his friends. Can you pray for the person you are holding his or her hands? Pray for the person you are holding his or her hands. Pray for the person you are holding his or her hands. Pray. Shalabah. One way to get restored is to intercede for somebody else. One way to get restored is to intercede for somebody else. Intercede for that person. 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 Hakayataba. Oh Let your intercession go. Let the fire of your intercession rise.
Let the fire of your intercession rise. Let the fire of your intercession rise. Pray for that person. Pray for that person. Pray for that person. Lord, restore my brother. Lord, restore my sister. Lord, restore my brother. Lord, restore my sister. Restore opportunity. Akati de 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 yakata. O shabrata. O kotesa. Ekatatate ya. Ekadule pete ya. Ekori batishka. Arapele de de basa. O kote shata. Antali batesa. O lube bebe keteta. O koshi brataya. Arapale ketetete. Enana kote zata. O koshi bebe tata. Rapa de 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 keta. Enta te 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 te. Mandolo de de boko tata. Empali kate te te te. Mandolo de de baba 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 baba. Mandolo de 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 baba 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 baba. Mandele de 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 basa. Rapa pa 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 te. Esala bakate ya. O koshale kadi bete de de ha. Enta le baruska. Rapa de 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 sha. O kote zimanande ya. O kote ziba. O kole baru. Let the prayer rise. Let the fire of intercession rise. Let the intercession rise. Akaye de badash, ese te 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 tata. O kote de baba pata, o le badi de ziana, o kore jimante, kupapale de 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 bossa, akideza, o shibamata, o kote sia, o ripapate ya, o konde le pata, o zezigeta, mandele bele balibada, o kote te te, rapapate te te te. Entali parabate, o siketeta, o rapadide seketita, o koshi be pe 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 tata, o kone ne ne ke te te ta, o rubete le ke dish ke pa 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 te, enande subata, o kore shi bre te kida, o ko pa 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 li de 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 ya, o ko simbre de ke de de sa, o ko teje ke te 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 ta, endo si ma 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 ta 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 ta, side of God prayer, o shi manat. O kote te te ha, mandele getile ba 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 ha, radianasa yeketele ha, mandele gedesha ha, o kopa pa 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 ha, rabazika ha, o kote inga ha, enta shibala da ha, eh job got restored, he gave him ba ha, o kosi ba da ha, media follow me, media go verse eleven, a shibata ha, o kosa ha, then came unto him ha, all his brethren ha. And all his sisters, uh, child of God, uh, Allah calls uh, 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 in Jesus' mighty name. When Job prayed for his friends and he was restored double, look at what happened. He said, There came up to him all his brethren and all his sisters, and all they that had been of his. Uh, look at had been means that they were before and they left him. Oh, I don't know if you are catching what I'm talking about. The kind of opportunity that God is restoring. People that have abandoned you, they are coming back. I said they are coming back. He said the sisters came and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil. Question is, where have they all been? But look at the, the funny part and the sweet part for me. He said, how did Job got restored? He got restored by relationship. He says, every man also gave him a piece of money and gold. <laughs> Job lost everything. You know the Bible tells us. Now, and um, people abandon him. When he now said, okay, I have a problem. But let me pray for another person. God now touched the heart of other people. And when they were coming, they did not come empty-handed. They carried something for Job. Job did not get restored by killing people. He did not get restored by Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo Plus. He did not get by 419. He got restored by people. That tells you how many people that came. For him, he was the richest in the time. And he lost everything. And then they restored back to him. He now had twice. That, te that tells you the crowd of people. Talk about crowdfunding. Job was the first crowdfunder. 
You talk about crowdfunding. Job was the first beneficiary of crowdfunding. Crowd gathered money. See, crowd will gather money for you. The business you are going to do, crowd will gather money for that business. Are you serious about this? Say, Father, raise your hand from that person. Say, Father, as I pray for my brother, as I pray for my sister, cause people to come with gold, with Bitcoin. Are you still in church at all? They are coming with Bitcoin. They are coming with gold. They are coming with silver. They are coming with resources. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, my product will, crowd will buy my product. 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 Kila paradasha. Rapa papa teteya. Razi eneke tetetete. Eleka tono moko teteha. O rapa alike de 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 kata. Rapa si ene moko teya. O kote ije bebelita. O kote papa teta. O kopali paradesa. O kote shki parata. O ska papa paya. Asate yata. E kala pata. Every man also gave him a piece of money and of code substance are coming your way ah no matter the business you are in you are a boat rider crowd are coming to patronize you you sell zobo crowd are coming to patronize you you sell cars crowd are coming to patronize you you sell laptops crowd are coming to patronize you you sell books crowd are going to buy your books you are a consultant crowd are going to ask for your help are you still in church at all he said that's how Job became in anamakasa ayadeja namaha okoya crowd oh my anamakata you sell online products you sell online courses crowd are going to buy it hey you are a comedian you are going to see crowd coming to your skits in the name of the Lord Jesus you are MC people are going to be calling you crowd will be calling you crowd will be calling you you are a lady get ready because so many suitors are coming don't be confused when they come in the name of the Lord Jesus they are restored you lost one relationship God is restoring many more you lost a, a girl you thought you were married God is bringing a better lady for you you lost a man God is bringing a better man for you hey God is restoring 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 by the power of the Almighty thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus you deserve all the glory you deserve all the glory can you go ahead and give him thanks go ahead and give him thanks for answer prayer go ahead and give him thanks in the name of Jesus I have two more prayer points Peter Peter denying Jesus and he was given the opportunity and he was restored and he became a major force in the kingdom and he renewed his purpose and pursued his purpose you're going to pray say father like Peter everywhere I have fallen I'm rising I am rising from the fall. That you fear does not mean that's the end. Bible says even the righteous can fall seven times. I'm sure you have not fallen seven times. So you are in a good shape. And you are going to pray, Father, if you restore Peter, you are restoring me. Lord, if you restore Peter's commitment to you, you are restoring me. Somebody open your mouth and say, Lord, restore my passion for you. Restore my passion for purpose. After a while, Peter said, I go out fishing. He forgot the purpose. He forgot the purpose. He forgot the purpose. But now Peter began to go step by step. Peter began to go step by step, 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 step by step to be restored, step by step, step by step, step by step to be restored, step by step, step by step, step by step, Hayakata. And Peter became a mighty force. Peter became a mighty force. The same Peter that denied Jesus became a mighty force. Final prayer. David was also restored. 
despite his shortcomings. He even committed adultery and planned to kill somebody's husband and actually killed the man. But yet God forgave him and restored him. Ruth lost her husband. But yet Ruth got restored. God is a God of restoration. Therefore, I pray for you today. As your hands lift up and you shout amen, everything that you have lost in your life, may God restore you. Amen. Those of you online, also join us. As the covenant custodian, as the messenger of the covenant of restoration, I pray in the name of Jesus, may opportunities that you thought you have lost, may they come back. May they come back. The God that had it. Somebody sent me something today. Some money. He said, Pastor, I send this money because the prayer you pray for me, God answered. My wife told me about somebody that was in UK that told my wife, say, ah, I need to send this to Pastor because Pastor, exactly how Pastor pray. I wrote, I written the exam how many times? Since 22, she'll be writing that exam. And then we prayed for her. He said, exactly the way I does, exactly the way it happened. See, there is God honoring the word of his servant. As I pray for you today, I pray may restoration be your portion. In 2024, you will be massively restored. Every opportunity that you have lost, receive it back in the name of Jesus. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. I pray that people are coming. They are coming with substance. Cloud coming. Coming with substance. They will give you money. Did you see the Bible? He said they gave him money. Everyone that meets you from now on, they will find it sweet to give you money. Don't think that money is cash. God can still give you money. Some of us, God will come with to give us gold. Give us landed properties. Give us all expense paid trips. In the name of Jesus, you can still be restored. Things are going to be restored in mighty way. Your passion and your love for God will be restored. You will win souls like never before. You will give to the kingdom. Nobody will beg you to give to the kingdom. You will give to the kingdom crazy in the name of Jesus. And as you give that, God opens strange doors for you. Lord, every closed door over your people. I decree open in the name of Jesus. I decree open in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. We give you all the praise. Go ahead and give him thanks. And, uh, and, and, and give him thanks this evening. Give him thanks this evening. Give him thanks this evening. He's a good God. Are you excited this evening? Wow, what a mighty God we serve. If you are restored, shout a shout of victory. I don't know about you. I'm enjoying Thursday services. We take like 30 minutes and pray solid prayers. Please don't miss any of the meetings. See, what happened is that we are something. We are cooking something. We are cooking something. When we cook after a while, we begin to see the result of our cook. Elijah bent down and was praying. The first one minute he did not see. Second minute, I don't know how long it lasted. Six times he did not see. The seventh time, something busted open. Please don't miss any Thursday meeting. Though next week is going to be a movie night. So they're going to watch something. There's something they're going to watch. Next week you're going to watch something that will spark your faith up. Glory to God. And you understand love in a different dimension. In Jesus' mighty name. Can we honor God this evening with our givings? We came to church with something to give to God. Let's honor God. Came with an offering. Let's honor God. Glory to God. You honor God with your tithe within the week, between Sunday and now. Please join me in the front. Let's pray with you. Or you want to do it this evening, please join me. Let's pray for you. Glory to Jesus. If you want to use the envelope, they're on the seat there. Ask somebody to give you one. And then let's, let's do this together. Our God is a good God. Our God is a good God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. 
my God is a good God. And if you want to use the POS, it's at the back. And God will honor every one of us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you excited? Anyone honor with the tights? Okay, nobody. Please rise on your feet as we welcome Alabaster. They're going to sing a song. And then we're going to just thank God. And we're going to close this service. I'm not very excited to sing and dance and celebrate God. Go ahead and give to God. Go ahead and give to God. Father, thank you. Let's confess our giving confession. One to go. I am in a covenant with God. I believe. My offering, my tithe, and other givings. Hallelujah. Lydia, let's correct that change. We say you should correct in the confession. Add what you need to add. Glory to God. Please go ahead and give. Celebrate God with all your heart. Have you been restored? Yes. Let me ask you. Have, have your dance day been restored? Your leg walk. Can you dance and celebrate God? Take us there, Alabaster. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are we ready to dance this evening? Hey, yeah. Oh. Come on, somebody celebrate the name of Jesus this evening. You are the same yesterday, today, forever. Nobody is like you. Yeah. Oh, you never change. Yesterday, today, forever. Nobody loves me like you. Say. Today, today, forever. Today, forever. No. 
working for my good. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's intentional. Never failing. I know that all of these are working for my good. He's intentional. Celebrate some very special people. If it's your first time at the Wisdom Place Church, can you just wave? Someone invited you. You heard our pastors on radio. You saw our billboard, and you just chose to come in, have fellowship with us. All right. So our guests remain seated. The rest of us, let's stand up and welcome, welcome our guests. Pastor, Pastor Favor or Siri Wisdom, I warmly welcome you to the Wisdom Place Church where God gives life's direction. That song was specially composed for you and we hope that you've come to stay. If you do not have a church family where you serve, where you worship with God's family, we would love you to prayerfully consider making the Wisdom Place Church your church family. Our pastors would love to pastor you with skillfulness and integrity of hearts. Can you feel the cards you've been given with the correct details, correct name, phone number, email address, right? <laughs> and after the service, please come to the seats here to my left and to your right. Someone is going to see you very briefly, very briefly. We would love to just take this relationship with you a little further. Once again, thank you for being part of service tonight. God bless you. Um, why singles will be having a dinner on Sunday, the 18th of February? Singles, are you excited about that? So maybe there's somebody that you have been eyeing, one brother in the house, you are eyeing somebody, and you are not sure how to start. You can start by buying a ticket for that somebody to come with you for that dinner on Sunday. Is it a good idea? Is it a good idea? It's a good idea. Let the person come with you to church. You know, when I was single, 
If one sister smiles at me like this, you are coming to church by the grace of God. <laughs> and I invited plenty of them. They came to church for different reasons. But when they got to church, they found the right reason for being in church. <laughs> Praise God. All right, so singles, make it a date. It's an opportunity to connect, to just interact, you know, and build meaningful friendships, meaningful relationships. Perhaps one, only one will evolve to what we are trusting God for this year. One of the things we are trusting God for in more is more weddings. Praise God. Yeah, and it's the single people that would get wedded. Praise God. Right? So singles, make it a date. Um, get your tickets. Invite your friends. Share the flyers and have people come with you on Sunday the 18th. So after this Sunday, that's next Sunday. And on the 25th, couples will be having couples dance and dine events. Right? That's a beautiful one for couples. Time is... 5.30 p.m. and it's also a ticketed event. So the singles event is 5,000 naira per person and then the couples event is 10,000 naira per couple. Couple are going to have a two-course meal. You can't get that anywhere. Two-course meal for 10,000 naira plus drinks plus water. But you see, one of us who um, owns a, a catering business has decided to sow his seed and bless couples. That's why you can get it at that amount. So invite your friends. I intend to buy tickets for two other couples that are not TWP couples and bring them to that event. If there are people whose marriages are troubled, buy them a ticket and bring them. That environment is enough to bring healing to homes. Right? So let's make it a date, couples, and let's invite others to join us. And then our mission, our community meetings have resumed. How many of us were at MC meetings yesterday? We had a full house at my MC. In fact, we put resources together and we made rice and stew very plenty. My MC is a correct MC. A very correct MC. Our table steward is here. Yesterday, people even went to take away after the MC. Yeah, yeah. And we prayed. We already have one testimony from the prayers we prayed yesterday. So it's not only food we are eating. Things are happening at the MC. So if your MC is not happening, go there and make things happen. All right? Has it been an exciting time tonight? How many of us are trusting God for some unusual restoration? Let's rise up tonight and let's give God praise for an amazing, amazing time. And then on Sunday, media, do we have the flyer for Sunday? Sunday, we're going to be looking, oh yeah, more love, more love. Can you see that? 8 a.m., first cruise, second cruise, 10 a.m. So we'll put the flyers on the church platforms. I'd like you to please share it. Let people come and feel love. Eh? More love, plenty of love. Even our pastor's suit is communicating the love. Oh my God. While they are painting the town red, let us pull them in and show them the real love. Praise God. Lord, let's give God thanks. Let's give God thanks and declare that as we go into the week, the rest of the week ahead of us, God will show us some strange restoration. In the name of Jesus. And let's declare that as we come on Sunday, the power of God will be mighty in this place. That people who are troubled, who are traumatized, as they come, they will feel God's love like they have never felt anywhere. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, God, because as we go, we have testimonies of restoration. Unusual testimonies of restoration. Thank you, Father, because as we reach out and invite men to come to service with us on Sunday, they are responding. And Lord, here on Sunday, there will be strange healings. In the name of Jesus, broken hearts will be mended. In the name of Jesus, troubled relationships will be restored. In the name of Jesus, a man will come to know the love of Jesus like they have never known it before. Thank you, Father, because men will see genuine love and understand what love means. Hallowed be your name, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Media, can we have our closing declaration? I hope you have that handy. Do you have that? Okay, so let's declare three, two, one. Let's go. I can, I shall, I will. In fact, I must fulfill my destiny. For all that I need is already provided. I am experiencing success. I will not explain failures. I am too blessed. I cannot be messed up. I am too connected. I cannot be frustrated. I can see myself in the future. I am doing better than I am doing right now. Future wait for me. I am coming in style. I am coming to overtake. 
I am coming to take over. My life has direction. I win through divine wisdom. I am the light of the world. I am an ambassador of Christ. I represent the kingdom of God on earth. Go and represent God's kingdom in Jesus' name.